All right, so this is my uh, first tutorial on uh, helical, helical gears and creating helical teeth. Uh, this is a small camshaft from a, from a little 200cc engine. Um, it uses helical teeth, so I'm just going to show quickly how to draw the teeth and how to extrude them into an angle. So first off, I already have a sketch defined for the tooth, as you can see. show it. That's the first sketch on the first plane. And the next sketch is right here. So these two profiles are offset uh, eighth of an inch. That's the angle of the uh, of the actual uh, the teeth. So the way to create these teeth is to uh, use a uh, lofted boss extrude. With that you also have to put in guide curves. So the 3D sketch is actually a pretty good tool for this. It allows you to create a profile in order to extrude. If you don't if you don't put these lines in it turns out to be some really weird shape. <coughs> so in here you select the first profile, <coughs> next profile, and it makes that tooth. Very easy. So from here that's only one tooth. I'm also going to uh, chamfer, use a fillet on the edges. That looks pretty good. All right. So now, to get the entire gear. All right, so I had to start a new video. The other one cut out on me. Anyway, so uh, now to make the uh, pattern for the teeth, it has the actual camshaft has 48 teeth. So that's just a simple uh, circular pattern. So I'm going to select the profile, which I want to revolve around, and then the features to pattern at the loft fillets. And it's 35 right now, so 48, 48 teeth. That's perfect. Perfect spacing. And it's loading, loading. It's a lot of geometry for it to process. So hopefully I won't get some kind of error. There we go. So that's pretty much it. That's how to make a uh, helical gear. It's not very hard. That's pretty much it.